around. These abilities, they're complicated, they're transformative, and they can be dangerous. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 science fiction thriller, Grey Matter. The film is directed by Miko Winbrush and it stars Mia Isaac, Jessica Francis Dukes and Garrett Dillahunt. Now the film focuses on Mia Isaac's character, Aurora. She is a teenager who has remarkable abilities like telekinesis, so on and so forth. Um, and she has um, a mother, um, Isla, who also has these abilities. And she's been protecting her daughter probably too much. She's been kind of um, overprotecting her. So the daughter essentially feels like she's in prison to a large degree. She doesn't necessarily understand why. Uh, there is a tragedy takes place and Aurora is then taken by Derek who is um, something of a mentor figure who uh, collects people with these abilities and helps them to try and um, control them in order to um, make sure that they are safe to enter society. However, while in his presence, she discovers a little bit of a conspiracy um, and uh, some deep, dark secrets about her mother. Right. What are my thoughts on Grey Matter? Well, this is the sort of film that 15, 20 years ago we used to get all the time as a result of the X-Men movies. When the X-Men movies started coming out, we started getting loads of different movies that were kind of, you know, um, giving us people with special abilities or mutants with abilities. So they're all different variations of the X-Men. And this is no different. It just feels 20 years too late. Um, in, and the guy that plays um, Derek, this Garrett Dillahunt, he's even got a bald head, you know, and he's clearly being presented as the Xavier character. However, there is a twist that takes place in the, place in the film, and I'm not going to spoil that for you. Um, and the person you think is the hero becomes the villain, and the person you think potentially is the villain, in actual fact, isn't the villain. Um, so... Uh, while, like I've said, I don't want to give spoilers away, it's not as if you're not going to see this coming. I mean, it's not hard to figure out what's going on, really, this film. It's one of those films that, you know, you don't have to stretch your brain that much to watch. Um, now, there's nothing particularly bad about this film. It's one of those films that is, you know, it's got very decent production values, uh, some competent directions, set designs, all this kind of stuff. You know, there's a decent amount of effort gone in here on all levels. The performances are all fine by everybody. There's nobody here that you, it stands out as a poor actor or actress or any poor performance. The things that let this film down really are a little bit of sloppy writing. Um, you know, characters aren't particularly well uh, introduced particularly well. They're not fleshed out well enough. Um, and this, this whole world building is just not done well enough for us to kind of invest into it. You know, this, this, this world of these people with special abilities, how they fit into the world, how two particular characters in this film got to where they are. They used to be allies and now they're enemies. Very much like, obviously, Xavier and Magneto in the X-Men films. It's obviously meant to reflect that. It just doesn't tell that story anywhere near as well as films that have come before. Um, so this film feels very claustrophobic in a way, because you've only really got this mother and daughter story, and then it evolves into this daughter being kind of mentored by this Xavier figure. Um, and then you get the twist, and then the climax of the film. And it's... It's no more expansive than that. And it feels like the film could have been more expansive than that. We get very few examples of um, the uh, powers in this film. You don't really get any what you would describe as spectacular um, set pieces or anything like that. You know, you're given examples or hints at um, what these powers can be and what they're capable of. But... Again, it's never really fully realised. You get you, you almost get the feeling that this film, for whatever reason, has got like the 
um, the, the leash on, it's never fully let off the leash, so you're never fully, you know, given um, a full taste of these powers that these people have in this film. Um, and, and I think some of that is done on purpose, because you're meant to see this Aurora character, this teenage girl, her powers, you know, develop from being very uncontrolled to, by the end of the film, her being in control sort of thing. But they even kind of mess that up, you know what I mean? That, that arc sort of thing where she goes from being not in control and a bit of a ratty teenager, fed up with a mum keeping a prisoner pretty much, to this freed character in the end who's very much in control and has, you know... Um, incredible powers the film doesn't really deliver that impact um so it's it's a hard film to criticize because as i've said there's nothing really wrong with it but if you want to watch a film that you know explores humans with you know supersonic abilities or whatever you want to call it uh, superhuman abilities or mutant abilities or whatever there are many more films out there that are done better than this. Just doesn't explore new ground. Um, it, like I say, it does feel kind of claustrophobic in the story that it's telling. It doesn't feel like the, the world building is done anywhere near enough and is not nowhere near effective enough. Um, and the villainous character, you don't really get. For, for me, the villain of the piece is it's too tame as well. You can understand why the kind of keep the villain down for a parts of the film because they're trying to keep the twist under wraps but trust me guys the twist isn't under wraps we've i figured it out very very quickly and i'm sure most people will as well so i mean it's worth checking out if you like these sort of movies it's not as i've said what you would describe as a terrible film or anything it's just very very mediocre um and that's probably the biggest compliment i can give this film so Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.